Okay, to the other Mune hosts. Aldo, Aldo, uh, Jose Aldo versus Pedro Munoz thoughts. Uh, my thoughts on this one. Let's uh, let's let's talk about it here. Um, pulling up the numbers on these two guys. Uh, Aldo is four and five in his last nine fights. Two of his last four wins. Yeah, two of his last four wins inside the distance. Munoz is six and three in his last nine. Three of his last six wins inside the distance. Uh, Munoz has gone the distance in uh, six of his last nine fights. Aldo has gone the distance in four of his last five. Um, this is one where I got to sit on, you know, it doesn't really apply because these aren't uh, unranked bantamweights. But this is a fight where I feel like a lot of people are expecting that this one's going to go the distance because I heard a lot of people talking about, you know, Aldo has two good rounds in him, and I can bank on Aldo with two good rounds. Him, all he needs is two win, two uh, two rounds to win this fight. And once again, I'm going to say this: uh, <laughs> you don't want to bank on decision wins when we're going to Houston. You know, everything's bigger in Texas, including uh, incompetence in MMA judging. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, the, I'm looking at the fight goes the distance on FanDuel right now, minus 158, and that's the best line on the board. It goes as high as, like, minus 190. So the market expects this fight, fight to go the distance, and this is one of those fights where I feel like there's some value on fight goes the distance no here. Um, like I said, uh, Munoz has won inside the distance in three, three of his last six wins inside the distance. Um Aldo has gone over the betting total in six of his last nine fights, but he's only gone the distance in four of his last nine. He's lost inside the distance in three of his last nine. Um, yeah, I. this fight comes down to basically is who's going to be able to in, utilize and endure more leg kicks. And we've seen that Aldo, he's kind of shied away from the really throwing those leg kicks like he he used to. Uh, he used to do it a lot. And I think he's holding off with them kind of as like self -pres self preservation. Uh, but he's going to have to dig deep and find that old chainsaw Aldo leg kick style because Pedro Munoz does not back down and he'll go tit, tit for tat. Uh, with leg kicks for 15 minutes with uh, Jose Aldo. And another thing I think is a factor here is going to be in this fight, the pressure. The pet, the pressure of Pedro Munoz. Uh, Jose Aldo has been known to kind of whittle away in the later rounds. And if, if it, this is a high-volume fight, which I think it's going to be, uh, Pedro Munoz is one of those guys that he's just going to keep coming forward regardless of, coming, of what's coming back at him. And... Uh, I don't think he's never been finished in his career, Pedro Munoz. So uh, for Aldo to come in and to knock Munoz out, it would be a complete outlier that would set him apart from a wide array of high-level fighters that he's fought. Um, and then on the other hand, uh, Pedro, he has got power in his hands. And so he's willing to step into the pocket. Uh, Aldo is willing to too, but uh, he's not – as defensively sound in the pocket. So if he tries to go toe to toe with Munoz, uh, it's kind of like an unstable game, unsustainable game plan. Uh, I feel like Jose at his best when he's, he's at his best when he's picking and popping and sticking and moving, getting to the inside and then retreating, being light on his feet, picking his spots. Uh, but you look at Pedro, he's, He's content with just standing in the pocket and going shot for shot for 15 minutes. Um, you look at uh, the, his last fight uh, against Rivera, right? Uh, it's the same thing, just going tit for tat with leg kicks. And, you know, over the course of his entire career, he's really, you know, been known for 
uh, Aldo really been known, like I said, for being having chainsaws for legs, but he's also really, uh, um, you know, he's really kind of, we haven't seen the same, the same type of heavy leg kick game since he's moved to bantamweight really. And, uh, it's probably not going to be the best way to fight Pedro Munoz. And, you know, both these guys are veterans, both 35 years old, uh, with a 15-minute fight, three five-minute rounds. Uh, and I keep hearing, again, people saying, all we need is Aldo to get two out of three rounds. And I'm telling you, you do not want to back a fighter in Houston and have the assumption that all he needs to do is win two of three rounds to get a decision, you know. Um, it's just not. It's not. A, it's not good betting strategy, right? It's like it's like you're betting with a bad referee or a bad umpire. Um, so yeah, basically, it all comes down to this. With all due respect, Jose Aldo is really good at fighting two rounds. And again, I've heard a lot of people who have handicapped this fight saying. He's good for two out of the three rounds in this fight more times than not. And I just got to say, like, look, we're headed to Texas. You can't bank on your fighter to win two of two of three rounds. Uh, you need your fighter to have a chance to win by stoppage in this scenario. It's a close fight. I think it's like minus 115, Aldo, plus 105, uh, Pedro. This fight has split decision written all over it. And uh, if that's the case, once again, I'm going to be on the dog side here when you have that added volatility being factored in. And, uh, you know, it's just a sad reality of where we're at with this sport right now. But uh, um, if this fight ends, and we got to think about this, let's learn from the Maverick uh, bad decision and the uh, Kyler Phillips bad decision. Uh, if this fight ends with, Jose Aldo breathing heavy, looking up at the clock, which we've seen this, you know, uh, him getting beat up at the end of the fight after, you know, banking what everybody thinks is two rounds. I'm not backing Jose Aldo in that spot. I'm sorry, but, you know, um, my money's going to be on the dog nine times out of ten in a position like this. And being in Texas or Virginia or Florida or whatever Yahoo state that uh, has little to no integrity in their athletic commission, I'll be on the dog because, yeah, uh, even just listening to the way that people have handicapped, who, people who are betting and picking Aldo, who are, I'm, I'm, I'm using the same, th their same uh, uh, explanation, but I'm just saying, you know, you don't want to count on your fighter banking two or three rounds in this scenario. Right, I think it's going to be a very close fight, and like I said, I think uh, your fighter should not, you shouldn't be okay and content with betting on a fighter who you know is going to gas in that third round. That's we've seen it time and time and time again. That's how fighters get robbed. So I'm all over Pedro Munoz at plus money in this fight. <clears throat>